What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Daniel and welcome back to our video. Today, I'm doing race 6 for the 2024 Great American Getaway 400. Let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. This week in the NASCAR Cup Series tested a tricky triangle, also known as Pocono International Raceway. A track that's very technical, very difficult to pass, but it also has put on some pretty solid and good racing, and we've seen the attendance increase with fans showing up more and more to see some pretty exciting racing. The last time we ran a Pocono National Raceway, we saw Denny Hamlin and Kyle Larson get into a little bit of a feud, with Denny Hamlin picking up his 50th for NASCAR Cup Series win. He'll be looking to pick up his fourth win of 2024 this weekend at Pocono International Raceway. So now, let's go ahead and jump into picks. But before we go ahead and jump into picks, let's take a look at the weather for this weekend. So the weather for this weekend currently at the moment is looking extremely promising. It's going to be 84 degrees high with 66 degrees low with a 20% chance of rain with partly cloudy skies. Going to be some pretty nice weather up in the Pocono area. If you're going to the racetrack, you'll have some pretty enjoyable weather for this weekend at Pocono International Raceway. So now, let's go ahead and jump into picks. For those who are new to the channel, here's how picks work. I usually do two suck picks, two drivers I expect to struggle throughout the weekend who will not have a good run. I do two underdog picks, two drivers who need a good run, who just need to have a good run this weekend. I think we'll have a very fantastic run under fun equipment. And I do my winner's pick, the driver thinks is going to win the race overall. And I do the drivers need to watch out for. And usually for the Cup Series, I've got five drivers need to watch out for. So now, let's go ahead and jump into picks. Who are my suck picks for the 2024 Great American Getaway 400? My first suck pick for this week in a Pocono is a driver of the 99 car for Trackhouse Racing, Daniel Suarez. Look, Daniel Suarez has not had a really good year in 2024. I think he's only had two or three top tens altogether. Sure, he does have the win at Atlanta Motor Speedway in race number two of the season. But outside of that, it's been very disappointing. While he is in the top 20 in the regular season standings, I'm not expecting much for him this weekend. I sadly think he's going to struggle. I think he's going to finish near the bottom to the middle of the pack. I don't think they're going to have the pace and speed. Trackhouse has been struggling a little bit. I think Daniel Suarez will not have a good run this weekend at Pocono. My second suck pick for this weekend at Pocono is a driver of the 22 car for Team Penske, Joe Logano. While Joe Logano has won here previously back in 2012, he historically has not been great here in recent years. And last year, he unfortunately crashed out of the event. And Team Penske has not been really good on the bigger oval so far in 2024. I think he's going to struggle at the tricky triangle. I don't think the pace and speed is going to be there for Joey. I don't expect much. I think Joey Logano, unfortunately, will sadly struggle this weekend at Pocono International Raceway in that number 22 car. And now we're going to ahead and jump on the underdog picks for the Great American Getaway 400 at Pocono. Who are my underdog picks? My first underdog pick for this weekend at Pocono is a driver of the 23 car for 2311 Racing Bubble Walls. Bubble Walls is coming off having a pretty decent performance at Chicago, finishing 13th, and also, of course, finished 7th not too long ago at Nashville Super Speedway. In the last couple of years of 2311 Racing, Bubble Walls has actually ran quite well here. I think he's going to have a pretty good performance this weekend, where I think he's going to have a good chance and opportunity at least to get a top 10 finish. I think he's going to have the pace and speed to be up front at times. The 2311 Racing cars are showing some good speed this year. I think Bubble Walls will have a pretty solid performance, and I think he will at least get a top 10 this weekend at Pocono. My second underdog pick for this weekend at Pocono is the driver 38 car for Front Row Motorsports' Todd Gillen. Todd Gillen is quietly having a pretty solid year. He has had nine straight top 20 finishes and a lot of top 10s as of late, and Front Row Motorsports has been a lot or has ran pretty well at this track in recent years. I think Todd Gillen's going to have a pretty strong run this weekend. He's pretty good here in the truck series. I think he almost won an ARCA race here not long ago as well. I think Todd Gillen's going to have the pace and speed. I think he'll have a really great chance and a pretty solid and good opportunity to pick up a good performance for sure this weekend at Pocono. And now we're going ahead and jump on to the winner's pick for this weekend at Pocono. Who is my winner's pick? This historically has been a Chevy and Toyota type of track. You either see a Chevy win or a Toyota win. I'm going to be going in the Toyota pipeline. The driver who I'm picking to win this weekend is a driver of the 20 car for Joe Gibbs Racing, Christopher Bell. I think Christopher Bell is going to be getting his fourth win of the year. This 20 car has arguably had the fastest car the last three years. At weeks, I should say. Last week at Chicago, had the fastest car, had a little bit of bad strategy. 
Nashville had the dominant card for the first two stages, got crashed out by his own mistake. Then the previous week prior to that at Iowa, he was moving forward and moving to the front. I also won in New Hampshire as well. So I think Chris Ball is going to be up front contending for the win and victory. I think he gets it done. I'm going to have Chris Bell picking up win number four of 2024 this weekend. And now we're going ahead, jump on the drivers you need to watch out for for this week in a Pocono. Who should you have your eyes out on? The first driver to watch out for for this week at Pocono is a driver of the five car for Hendrick Motorsports, Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson historically has been really good here, not just in the Hendrick Motorsports era, but also in, in the Chip Ganassi era as well. He's also won a couple of Xfinity races here back in the day as well. I think Kyle Larson is going to be up front, and I think he's going to have a good chance and opportunity to not only extend the regular season lead he has, but I think he could get win number four of 2024 this weekend. The second driver to watch out for for this week in a Pocono is a driver of the nine car for Hendrick Motorsports, Chase Elliott. While unfortunately Chase Elliott's top 20 streak has come to an end where he finished 21st last week, he has still been really great this year with still having an average finish under 11th place. And Chase Elliott wanted this track back in 2022, albeit due to unfortunate circumstances for Denny Hamlin and Kyle Busch. I think Chase Elliott has a great run, and I think he'll have a fantastic chance and opportunity to get his second win of 2024 and his 20th career Cup Series win. The third driver to watch out for for this week in a Pocono is a driver of the 11 car for Joe Gibbs Racing, Denny Hamlin. Denny Hamlin, I think, now has the most wins of anybody in the history of Pocono, and he's looking to get, I believe, his eighth ever win at Pocono. And I think he's going to have a good chance to get it done. Denny Hamlin's had the pace for speed this year. I know the last couple weeks have not gone great for Denny, but I think he turns around the corner, and I think Denny Hamlin will have a fantastic chance and a really strong opportunity to pick up the win in victory this weekend at Pocono International Raceway in the 11 car. The fourth driver to watch out for for this weekend at Pocono is a driver of the 45 car for 20 through 11 racing Tyler Reddick. Tyler Reddick is having a superb season for Sanders. He has the most top 10s of anybody in the field with 13 top 10s so far, and he's been extremely consistent as moved inside the top five of points, that being in third position. I think Tyler Reddick's going to have a really strong chance and a really great opportunity to get the win. He's won here, I believe, before back in Xfinity. I think Tyler Reddick will have a good chance and opportunity to get a second win of 2024 this weekend at Pocono International Wasteway with 2311. And the fifth and final driver I think you should watch out for for this weekend at Pocono is a driver of the 54 car for, 20, for Joe Gibbs Racing, Ty Gibbs. Ty Gibbs has been historically really good here, not just in the Xfinity Series, but last time he ran here at Pocono, he finished inside the top five. I think Ty Gibbs is going to have a good chance and opportunity to get that first career win. He's been great at this track. I think he's won here in ARC as well in the past. I think he's going to have a good chance and opportunity and a fantastic run. I think the speed's going to be there. I think Ty Gibbs will have a really great chance and a really fantastic opportunity to pick up his first career Cup Series win this weekend at Pocono. So, those are my race picks for the 2024 Great American Getaway 400. Just a reminder, my suck picks are Daniel Suarez, Joey Logano. My underdog picks are Bubba Walls, Todd Gillen. My winner's pick is Chris Bell. And the ones to watch out for are Kyle Larson, Chase Elliott, Denny Hamlin, Tyler Reddick, and Ty Gibbs. Those are my race picks. So, that is going to be it for the race picks video for the 2024 Great American Getaway 400 at Pocono. I want to thank guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. The notifications on so if I win a video, it does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support me on Patreon as well. Let's go to below that and comment below your picks below for this weekend at Pocono. Let me know your suck picks. Let me know your underdog picks. Let me know your winner's pick. And let me know your drivers you're watching out for for this weekend at Pocono. Let me know your picks in the comments below. Later today on the channel, we're going to have the paint scheme video for the Great American Getaway 400 at Pocono. Then tomorrow on the channel, we're also going to have a news video talk about drivers like SVG, potentially Haley Deegan, or a couple other drivers retired like Carlos Kurt Busch as well. And we're also going to have the Truck Series race review as well dropping on the channel. i got a ton of great content dropping this weekend. We're going to be headed to Pocono. We, of course, got the Xfinity Series race weekend as well. We'll have the review for that on Saturday if the weather holds up, which it should be good to go. So anyways, like I said... I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode, and I'll see you guys next time for more great, awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.